there, Frederick. What you doing? Oh, hello, brother of mine. Why, I'm just studying for a math test tomorrow. Look at that bold haircut. That's pretty neat, Frederick. <laughs> Braxton, brother, shouldn't you also be studying for the test? Well, you see, Frederick, due to my high levels of apathy and the stress of knowing that I'll never be good at math, I've decided to completely give up on even trying to do good on the test. <laughs> That's how I feel. So, what are you going to do instead? Oh, I'm just going to go watch some YouTube videos. There you go. School sucks. Yes, Especially definitely. math. Ugh. Oh my god. Why will I yeah, ever wow. use geometry yeah. slash trigonometry slash calculus in the real I world? I think well. you're only saying that because you're bad at geometry slash trigonometry exactly. slash calculus. I hate math. Why is everyone so quick to hate on math? Math is easy. How many essays did you have to write for math class? Oh, that's None. right. None. E to the I pi plus one. Right, which is zero. zero. One thing wow. I would change about math yeah, class is I think it's dumb that you have to show your work. Ugh. Oh my Do you know how much harder it is to oh, cheat when you have to show your work? Dear oh, Matt, solve your own problems, tweeted Matt Pat. I hate yeah. Matt, replied Protato Gamer. Hey, that's not very Pro nice of you, Prote. <laughs> All he did was tweet about math. Maybe what you really hate is spelling. Or maybe uh, you really do hate Map Hat. Well, two yeah. can play at this game. <laughs> when will I ever need to know about the themes and symbolisms in To Kill a Mockingbird when I go into the real world? Exactly. That's right, never! That's kinda you true. don't know anything to be <laughs> in the true. real world. I okay, I think we can all agree that a lot of what school teaches you isn't that important. And there's definitely more important yeah, things schools could be teaching you. Like yeah, really. taxes or yeah. how to pick a good yeah. present. Yeah. I'm not the one who makes it good ones, so why am I even yeah. talking about it? Regardless of how broken your education system is, you should always stay in school. I didn't even know right that there? until I was like, See, oh, yeah. Hey, he's a boy in the band, the rapper. Yeah. Why is <laughs> the <laughs> How good time do you like? Whoa. Okay. Okay. I was oh a good God. student in school, oh, not shoot, counting college. And look how I turned out. I'm that's not using everything I learned in school <laughs> almost every day. Sure, yeah. you'll probably never need to know that much about Shakespeare's plays. But <laughs> hey, really. now you know how to read old-timey complicated books. Gee, yeah, and Jesus no, Christ. you'll probably oh never God. have to find the area yeah, under a curve look, ever. That, like, but yeah. now you can say that you can. And isn't that what life's all about? So enough with this introduction. I'm going to be telling you all some of my school stories. Okay. What do you mean, Jaden? I made a video on school stories. I have so many school stories. Oh, did she call them school stories? When I hit like 100K. I already stole from her like two videos ago. Wow. Okay, just, I'll think of something. So okay. enough with this why, introduction. Why in the I'm going to be telling you why? all some why of my academy anecdotes. So you know how guys can pee standing up? It's amazing. Ladies, if you've never peed standing up, then you're missing out. But there are some rules that apply when having the superpowers. Like, don't go to a urinal right next to another guy unless it's absolutely necessary. Or if the urinals don't have a divider, then everyone can all agree to keep your eyes and mind straight. These Straight rules have been out. taught to us at a very like young age. Stall. By the time we were in it's elementary so school, we were all pros at peeing. Except oh, yeah. for some of us when we were asleep. But that's not important. Oh, so at yeah. this point <laughs> in life, we all should have known what we were doing. Oh, yeah. But there's this one kid who I guess no one ever taught him how to pee correctly. This kid, I'm oh, not going to say his grace because it doesn't matter, but when he went to the bathroom, right. he would pull his pants down. and underwear all reason. the way down to the ground. Oh, yeah. Some of the ladies watching this might be thinking, wait, is that not how guys pee? No. Ladies, you'll just have to trust me on this. No. But that is the most wrong way a person can pee. The first time I saw the kid doing this was when I was in the urinal right next to him. Oh, wow. I saw that. As us two bros were peeing, a third bro walked into the bathroom, saw this kid's bottom, and just went, ooh, and walked out of the bathroom. I wish I could have done the same. How do you tell someone, hey man, when you pee like that, everyone can see your butt. So just, here, let me show you how to do it. I don't oh, know what happened no. to that kid, bro. I think it's easy. Like the hell door. He was Asian. When I was little, I had a very <laughs> weird <laughs> sense of humor. So in the fifth grade, there was this girl I'd known for a long time. We weren't strangers or anything. And one day I said to her, you have two big blue zits right there. And I pointed at her eyes. I was talking about her no. eyes. Oh, I called her eyes zits. Get it? She uh, immediately slapped me. Oh, Probably because oh, the joke was so awful. And that was the oh, first man. time oh, I ever got joke. slapped by that someone who wasn't place. a family member. And yes, it was Priscilla, the girl I sat next to in the cardboard boat video. Wow. She claims that the slap heard, was an know. accident and that she was just trying to fake slap me to scare me. Oh, no. I think she was really just self-conscious about her eyes. One time, my sixth grade teacher, who was the same height as all of us, threw a stapler across the room because we wouldn't stop talking. 
Here's an anecdote about the first what? time I got so detention, That's and it crazy. isn't that exciting. I was in the seventh grade, and our class was at a computer lab. And the kid yeah. sitting next to me, his race doesn't matter, so I'm not going to say it, no, say Asian, it. kept changing the computer wallpapers to cats, and he That's kept showing them. To be fair, I thought oh what he was doing God. was hilarious. Then I asked him, can you change the background to Chuck Norris? That just goes to show you how long ago this story took yeah. place. Right. I showed him what he did, yeah. I laughed, but then the teacher like said, who's in... changing the wallpapers? <laughs> she was able to see everyone's oh, yeah, screens from her computer, oh, and the kid yeah. said, me and James were. Dude, <gasps> don't bring me into this! Yeah. You were the one changing the wallpapers! Exactly. I mean, I was involved a little. <laughs> don't drag yeah. me down with yeah, you! Yeah, we yeah, ended up being detention, man. except my school what? didn't call it detention, they called it CARE, which I'm sure was an acronym for something. If it wasn't an acronym, that would have been a weird thing to call detention. Right. Let's just hey, say right. it stood yeah. for That's weird. That's kids weird. are really extra. The whole time I was in here, I kept thinking in my head, don't cry, don't cry, don't cry. If they see you cry, you might as well move to China. And that was the only time I got detention. China. Except it wasn't called China. detention. It was called care. So I still have a clean record. All right, here's the last anecdote. This one happened when I was in the 11th grade. I was in an AP US history class, and I had it for a zero hour. So that meant I was at the class before school even started, oh and I was God. way too tired to learn about presidents. I was sitting in class when all of a sudden I sneezed very loudly. And it was an above average sneeze. Like one of those sneezes where you had to lean into it. And after I sneezed, this kid near me said, Hey, yo, Mr. Teacher, can we get some tissues? This boy's got a bloody nose. And I thought, oh, shoot, I do? Well, that sneeze was pretty violent, and I did pick my nose a few minutes ago. And then the teacher looked right at me and said, Oh, yeah, you can just go to the bathroom. So I got up, and as I was walking to the door, I felt my face and realized, wait a minute, I don't have a bloody nose. I turned around, and there was a kid who actually did have a bloody nose oh. walking towards me. <laughs> I'm not going to say the race of the kid, because it doesn't it's matter. Asian. Canadian. Wow. But I was in a pretty awkward situation. So I punched myself until I actually did get a bloody nose. Now nah, I'm just kidding. What I really oh. did was I said out loud, I have to go to the bathroom <laughs> too. What? And then oh, I, bloody I didn't really have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> I didn't want to see another exposed yeah. butt anyway, so I just waited outside awkwardly for a long time. I got an A in that class, by the way. Wow. If you were wondering. <laughs> I still don't use anything I learned in that class. Mm, before I begin this end card, I just want to say that I got some brand new shirts and sweatshirts up in the merch store. Just in time. Why is Dave in a Why is Boy in a band? How snazzy those shirts look. Don't you just want to buy them? Oh, and also this Harry the Moth shirt comes with a Harry the Moth I'm pin. Hoping explain I'm thinking it. about releasing some more pins in the future, so just keep out on the, the lookout for them. I want to explain a joke in the video because it was very funny, and you won't get it unless Hello, you know the fan context. Art. Remember that part that. when I said, right, Dave? And it cuts to me and some guy okay, in the sound fine. booth. Well, that, dear viewer, was another YouTuber named Boy in a Band, who is probably most famous for being iDubbbz's ghost ghostwriter. But he also mm -hmm. made a pretty popular video called Don't Stay in School. So as I said, and that's I've why you okay. stay yes. in school, kids. It cuts to me and Dave being like, right, Dave? And it's funny because you made the Don't Stay in School. It's actually gotcha. a pretty good video. I agree gotcha. with a lot of the points in that video. I think it's funny but that he just stood there for video, that. Yeah. I don't make the curriculum, so... I don't care. Look at them standing <laughs> so there awkwardly. Thank you for helping color the pictures. He's going to hopefully <coughs> be doing that forever now. I'm really tired and wear your seatbelt. <laughs> I love that he says wear your seatbelt at the end. Yeah, Boy in a Band, I watched part of that video. And then I was like, eh, I don't want to watch the whole thing yet. And then I started watching his DNA video. And then that video discussing new <clears throat> insults. With yeah, iDubbbz. with iDubbbz. That one was I think really those are the funny. only two I've actually watched with him, and I think he's pretty funny. I really did like his DNA test, if you guys want to go check that out. Yeah, he seems like a pretty cool dude. Yeah, I really like him. Yeah, anyway. He's, he's a silly Billy. He's a silly Billy. Yeah. Um, I love all of his stuff, like, as far as, like, the odd ones out. I think he's another silly the Billy. storytelling is just on point. The, the fact that he's just, like... Um, I wish they taught taxes. Yeah, that's that was, that was what I was just about to say. Like the fact that he was just like, some of this stuff you don't actually take with you. Like they should have taught this stuff. I really wish that I like like we are adulting. They probably are about to now. Well, they should. I think they, they need to incorporate in <laughs> because there are some things that I feel like. I don't know like if that's just an American thing that they don't teach. How to adult? They ain't teach no Americans no well, like, taxes. I feel like. Well, like, my mom said that, like, when she was in school, they taught her how to, like, balance a checkbook and stuff like that, and I feel like 
That would have been you like. You don't even more. use checks anymore. No, but like, like obviously they had classes of involving like how to handle your money and stuff like that. So I feel like that would. Oh, be well, they kind of, kind of had that, but it's more of a mm. in depth. Well, I mean, there is classes for that. I remember like business classes. They taught a little bit about it. Well, you know, but they didn't go into taxes. They didn't go into yeah. The, well, you know the way like health is required and like gym. Didn't and, go like, into insurance. And a yeah, lot of that because stuff. I feel like I like what you should do for a four hundred one k, and it's just like things that you yeah, when true. you adult that you should probably know because I feel like I'm going into adulting. I do with a completely blind. Yeah. I got blinders on because I, I don't know what I'm doing. I do remember in one class they sat us all down in a library on the computer and was like, okay, you, here's the stuff that you need to have. Try to make a budget. You cannot go over $3,000 a month because that's the average cost for a living. Okay. For, in, no, no, one, I remember for that one class. person. Yeah, yeah. And what was that class? Economics? I think so. And it was like, okay, I'm going to have direct TV. Um, <laughs> Such and such and it, phone. They had this you pick like, the job is, that you this, wanted. Yeah, yeah, you, had, and... you had to pick what field you wanted to be in. It was like something. No, like, I remember that class. I remember that class because at the end of the very day, very depressing class. I like I was in the negative thousands of dollars, is and I could not. Yeah, I couldn't live on what I wanted to be, and then what I wanted, it came to a negative. It, but I, I kind of remember they're like, you got to choose this place to live. And it's like, oh crap, their water is too high. Okay, yeah. now I gotta find it. It just went into detail. And that's basically it. Yeah. They didn't teach it too much after that. Yeah, that was. So. That, and the, that project was pretty much like, you do what you gotta do. And they kind of let That's you all I remember. I only remember picking. Yeah. Stuff. I don't actually, I don't think it was very, like. It wasn't a very. You weren't very into. I don't think it was it a really good. It wasn't too hands on, I feel Yeah, like. I don't think it was a really good way to, like, teach you. So yeah, this is kind of something that our economics teacher was just like, we I'm need lazy. something do to this. do, do this. Because the entire program budgeted pretty much for you. Anyway, but it, that story was awesome. I like listening to like yeah. his personal stuff because I think it's all really relatable. And I like having discussions like this afterward. Yeah. It's fun. It's, it's a good time. It, it's it, a, it, it keeps it, us talking, it, which is It's a nice. good time. Um, but if you guys want us to see any more of his videos, if you guys have any specific ones, please leave them in the comments below. And if you guys want to see more of us, make sure to check out the description box below. It's got our Snapchat and Instagram. Make sure to subscribe. And as always, thank you for watching. We love you guys and we appreciate all the support. Bye! Bye.